Hello everyone and welcome to our second video tutorial on Embarcadero SDF C++. In this video, we are going to create a simple traditional Windows desktop application with C++. So, I'm going to go to File, New, Project, and in the basic tab, we have Windows application. And click OK. You just need to save project files here. Click Save. And there we go. So this project uses Win32 API. Win32 is the Windows application programming interface for developing 32-bit applications. So before diving into this 50 lines of code, I'd like to tell you about Windows coding conventions briefly. So if you are new to Windows programming, it can be strange to you because as you can see, um, the code is filled with strange keywords like L result, um, callback and variables have names like H, W, N, D. So actually it is worth taking time to learn some of the Windows coding conventions. The vast majority of Windows APIs consist of either functions or component object model interfaces. Very few Windows APIs are provided as C++ classes. And while creating Windows applications with C++, you can find dozens of type depths, type definitions like the word, byte, word, and more Boolean types, um, and pointer, pointer precision types. And while creating Windows applications, you should know what is a window and Windows handlers to handle Windows applications. So Windows are objects. They have both code and data, but they aren't C++ classes. Instead, a program references a Windows by using a value called handle. Essentially, it's just a number that the operating system uses to identify an object. For example, you can picture Windows having a big table of all the windows that have been created. It utilizes this table to look up windows by their handlers. And the data type for window handles is HWND, this guy and most of the developers pronounce it as hwind. Window handles are returned by the functions that create windows, create window, and create window x. For instance, here. And most of the time, if you want to perform an operation on a window, you typically call some function that takes an hwind value as a parameter. So, okay, let's get into our program here. So, every windows program includes an entry point function that is named winmain or wwinmain, this man. And here is our winmain entry point function. As you can see, there are four parameters, h instance, prev instance, lpcmd line, and ncmd show. So h instance is something called a handle to an instance or handle to a module. The operating system uses this value to identify executable when it's loaded in memory. This instance handle is needed for certain Windows functions, for instance, loading icons or loading bitmaps. hprev instance actually has no meaning. It was used in 60-bit Windows, but it is now always zero. CMD line contains the common line arguments as a Unicode string. And CMD show is a flag that says whether the main application windows will be minimized, maximized, or shown normally. And this guy is the calling convention. A calling convention defines how a function receives parameters from the caller. So, all right, uh, let's give a brief outline of what this whole code does. So, as you can see, we have WinMain. This is the program entry point. When the program starts, it registers some information about the behavior of the application window. One of the most important items is the address of a function named wndproc. Here. This function defines the behavior of the window, its appearance, how it interacts with the user, and so forth. Next, the program creates the window and receives handle that uniquely identifies the window. And if the window is created successfully, the program enters a while loop. Here. The program remains in this loop until the user closes the window and exits the application. Notice that the program doesn't explicitly call the wndproc function. Even though we said this is where most of the application logic is defined, Windows communicates with your program by passing it a series of messages. 
The code inside the while loop drives this process. Each time the program calls the dispatch message function here, it indirectly causes Windows to invoke the WND prog function once for each message. And now um, let's uh, compile and run this application. We need to save the main C++ file. And there we go. As you can see, we have a traditional Windows um, application here. Here we can change the title to Embarcadero Dev C++. Let's save it and run. There we go. Actually, um, there are lots of things going on. For example, creating a window, window messages, window procedure, window painting, closing, and also managing the application state. So if you'd like to learn more about this stuff, be sure to check out our blog post. And thank you for watching.